rules of indices and some important results. So one thing we need to remember is that any power where the exponent is 0 will equal 1. Any power where the exponent is a negative number will just solve the power, do the calculation, but the final answer will be the reciprocal of that answer. So in this case, something like that. Or we could maybe adapt it a little bit, saying a to any negative value will be the same as a to the positive value reciprocated, which is 1 over that full power, ignoring the negative or changing the negative to a positive. And in saying this, we, if we need, for whatever reason, or if we have a negative power sitting on the bottom, if we reciprocate this, meaning if we decide we don't want negative exponents in our answer, we can always say we reciprocate it, which means switch from bottom to top. And as soon as we do that, the only symbol that has to change is the sign of the exponent. So if it was a negative, it will become a positive. The other important result we need to always think about is fractional exponents. So the, the fractional exponent is sometimes um, more conveniently written as a root. So every time we see a fraction in the exponent, we know that number or the base of that power is inside the root. The top number is the exponent, the immediate exponent, and the bottom number is the index of the root. So in this case, anything that is over 2 or halves, 3 halves or whatever, will always be a square root because we know by convention the 1 can be omitted and so can the index 2 for the square root. So say we had a to the power of 3 fifths. So we know it's a root straight away because of the fraction in the exponent. a to the power of top number is the immediate exponent. Bottom number 5 is the index of the root. So this one here doesn't have a, a simpler way of writing. We simply have to keep it as fifth root of a cubed. And of course, we can rewrite the other way around. If we are given uh, the square root, let's say, of m to the power of 3, in many applications or in ways of simplifying expressions, we probably want to eliminate the root symbol. And we will rewrite this as m to the power of a fraction. Because if it's root, it has to be a fraction. The immediate exponent is always the top number and the index of the root, which I cannot see in this example, so it means it's 2, it's a, it's a square root, and then we have m to the power of 3 halves. Any other roots, we would need to have the index explicitly shown. So if we had that expression, we could say, well, let's rewrite it as m to the power of a fraction. Top number of the fraction is the exponent 4. Bottom number of the fraction is the index of the root. So that gives us m to the 4 thirds.